All right, Kylie, thank you. Well, there's a new study out about the equity gap in Indiana's high school to college pipeline for students of color, low-income students, and those who live in rural areas. The 2021 College Equity Report shows graduating high school students have become more diverse and low-income over the past decade. And the report says, though, they are not equally prepared for the challenges of post-secondary education. Some takeaways from the study include minority students are more likely to come from low-income homes. Women uh, are more likely to go to college than men. And rural students less likely to pursue higher education than non-rural students. For more on the study, its implications uh, for Indiana's workforce, pleased, as always, to be joined by Indiana Commissioner for Higher Education, Teresa Lubbers. And Teresa, as always, welcome. Thank you. Happy the, to be here. And this equity report, uh, talk about the importance because this is the fourth year that, that you've put out this report. Why is this important? What does it really give you insight into? Well, it shows where we really need to double down on our efforts to make sure that all Hoosiers have the opportunity for economic mobility that comes with education beyond high school. Mm -hmm. So we disaggregate our reports by race and ethnicity, gender, geography, and socioeconomic status. And we look at how individuals are doing. Are they prepared to go to college? Mm -hmm. Are they accessing college? Are they succeeding in college? And then are they getting a job afterward that provides yeah. economic mobility? And this study attempts to do all of those yeah. things. A lot of information. We can dive into. As mentioned in the introduction there, uh, uh, more diverse, more low income, but, but students uh, not really prepared for the rigors, the challenges of post-secondary education. I'll look at a couple of data points that I think are interesting mm -hmm. in this regard. We look, for example, at the number of students who graduate from high school with a waiver. We've seen a significant increase. One in eight students graduated from high school with a waiver. One in four black students graduated from high school with a waiver. One in five Hispanics did. And we know that there are some legitimate reasons for a waiver diploma, but it doesn't prepare you for uh, education in higher education, at least. We also know that our minority students aren't as likely to take academic honors or dual credit, mm -hmm. so that's an issue for us as well. They're not as likely to get the academic honors diploma. Uh, there's about a 20% gap with minorities in terms of getting the academic honors diploma. It's not the only pathway to college, but it is the surest way to be prepared for college. So we're looking at everything like encouraging people to take early college credit, you know, discouraging the waiver diploma at that level, making sure more students are taking the academic honors diploma. Yeah. Uh, also some interesting uh, uh, stats on college going, and, and especially when it comes to the number of men going versus women mm -hmm. going to college. Well, we've seen an overall decrease. It's been coming for several years. It's been a trend. Uh, we went from, we've seen about a 6% decrease in the last five years from 65% down to 59%. So this was very concerning. But if you look at by gender, 65% of women graduating mm. from high school are going on to higher education, 51% of men. And that number is even lower for black and Hispanic men. Mm -hmm. So where are all the men? We need yeah. them back. Yeah. <laughs> um, a number of things we can dive into there. And as you look at the equity uh, gaps uh, closing, but again, certain groups uh, not, not taking part in, in that post-secondary education. And as you look at um, the big goal mm -hmm. and your big goal of wanting 60% uh, uh, of Hoosiers with post-secondary uh, education, a credential, those types of things. Where does Indiana stand uh, in that? And why, how is that important to what we're talking about here in terms of some of these other statistics? Well, we have the big goal. 60% of Hoosiers would have a quality credential beyond high school by 2025. And that includes certificates and industry certifications and degrees. So we're looking at a broad range of that. We're at 48.3% right now. Uh, we know there's no way to get there without doing a better job with the individuals we've identified in this report, those who have been left behind, not fully participating mm -hmm. in higher education. And we also need more adults to come back. That goal has been established because of the workforce needs. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, we didn't just pick 60%. And let's be honest, when we get to 2025, that goal will probably move up. Yeah. Well, and as we wrap up, the importance of these numbers, because sometimes you look at, at reports that get put on the shelves and numbers kind of, you know, people's eyes gloss over. But this there's real importance in what we're talking about here to the whole work workforce and the whole workforce pipeline issue that everybody talks about. Well, this is a game changer for individuals. Hoosiers are going to be left behind. So personal prosperity and well-being depends on closing these gaps. Mm -hmm. We can't meet the needs for employers for the workforce they need in the 21st century unless people have the skills and credentials they need. And then as a state economy, as we need to strengthen our economy, it all comes back to a better prepared workforce. Yeah. Do, do you think that the, the, the awareness uh, on the part of academic institutions, um, uh, 
employers, everyone is kind of rowing in the same direction now because I think there was a time when that wasn't the case. Do you think everyone understands this workforce issue is a serious one? I think they do. In fact, we have a, we have a metric that 100% of our degrees and programs would have embedded career relevance, an internship, an apprenticeship. We're going to bring together in the fall employers and educators to look about what does career relevance mean? What do we have to make sure that our Hoosiers understand and have the skills to do in order to do the jobs that we know we want to have in advanced industries? All right. Indiana Commission for Higher Education, Commissioner Teresa Lubbers. 2021 College Equity uh, Report, some interesting information. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.